Hello, and welcome to Kept in Her Heart, where we talk about all things faith-related. I'm your host, Jenny Fuchs. Today, Dan is joining us to tell us more about Pachaman Terrace, a retreat center in Isanti, Minnesota, and some of the good works that they're doing. Welcome, Dan. Thanks, Jenny. Yeah. So, how did you become affiliated with Pachaman Terrace? I didn't know anything about Pachaman Terrace, even though it was kind of right in our backyard of our church, uh, until I had a, a meeting. I, it, I was told to go see Father Tim Nolan. He can teach you about stewardship, which was going to help me in our parish community. And uh, so I had a lunch meeting with Father Tim Nolan. He resides at Pachaman Terrace as a retired priest. Uh, at that time, he did anyway. He since has passed. And uh, we just uh, hit it off. It was actually my uncle that said, you need to go see Father Tim Nolan. He's the king of stewardship. And uh, we had a great meeting and it quickly veered from stewardship to Pachaman Terrace and what that's all about and the silence and the solitude that this retreat center um, is all about. So he introduced it to me. We had met a few more times and eventually he said, I, I'd like you to join our board. We pray about that. And I'd already, I was on a board at the time, and I thought, you know, I don't know a lot about boards. Um, I didn't really feel very well equipped to be on a board of a re Christian retreat center. Um, but I knew he, I was being nudged to do it, so I said yes. And he kind of guided me and mentored me into a role of chairing the board. And he said, one thing you have to do if you're gonna join our board is you gotta make a retreat here. And so I'd been on lots of retreats, but never an undirected, silent retreat in the woods, in a little cabin hut uh, that they call a hermitage. And it just opened my eyes to this whole idea of, of being a hermit for three days, two nights, three days, I think was my first retreat. So you're out there in, you know, Pachman Terrace is on 280 acres. They have, I think at that time, they had 16 hermitages scattered around in the woods. And you don't see anybody really. You uh, you can stay in your in your uh, hermitage cabin the entire time if you want. You can go on hikes. You can do what you want. But there's no running water. There's no electricity. Uh, they have propane uh, lights that you can turn on. Of course, propane heat. Um, so it's rustic and by design. And so you're really not necessarily connected to anything of this world. It's just you and God and. And it just, it was this beautiful uh, story that um, Pacham and Terrace was started by a lady named Shirley Wanchina in the 80s. And she had a vision from the Holy Spirit that she was supposed to start this. And so she bought an 80 acre parcel with her last little nickel and she erected a few little hermitage buildings and, and people came. And her whole mission of that and the mission today still is uh, to be alone with God. So uh, provide a place where people can be alone with God, I think is how the mission statement reads. Mm -hmm. And so it's just beautiful. The experiences that people have out there are uh, incredible. At our board meetings, when we meet as a board, the first thing we do is read Pacham notes. And these are notes that hermits left uh, in gratitude for their experience. And uh, the staff refer to them as their spiritual paychecks. So everybody on the boardroom, we all get a note passed to us and we read these and it's something special and amazing that God did for the different people that came. So it really is a beautiful center. It's, it's uh, really uh, ecumenical. There's no, no requirement to be Catholic or Christian. Uh, we have Buddhist people come, we have atheists come. Everybody comes for their own reason of silence and solitude. And, uh, and amazing things can happen when we stop talking and just listen. We turn off all electronics and uh, just simplify our lives for a short period of time. Some people stay for two, three days. Some people stay for 18, 19, 20 days and uh, whatever it takes for them to accomplish what it, they're looking for. That's awesome. It's incredible, yeah. just incredible. And how was your first retreat there? Uh, my first retreat, I don't remember too well. I think the most powerful retreat, I try to do one once a year at Pacham. And uh, my most powerful retreat was this uh, time in my life where I was really desiring what other guys had with this Marian devotion. And I didn't really know a lot about a Marian devotion. I wasn't a rosary prayer. 
I didn't understand the rosary. In fact, the rosary seemed quite boring. Why would I want to say the same prayer 50 times, 53 times? Uh, and it just made no sense to me. And I remember ta talking to a priest, uh, and he said, well, don't worry about saying the whole rosary. Say one decade of the rosary. And so that's what I went to Pacham with, is him telling me that. It's in my ear, and I'm going to just pray a decade and not worry about this whole thing and just see what happens. And so I did, and then a little later in my stay there, I would be interested again, so I'd pray another decade. And I just, uh, I felt this attachment to Mary that I've never felt before. Uh, and there was a small little book in the, in the hermitage that they leave there, and it referenced uh, the Virgin Mary. And so this whole Marian connection was coming alive for me in the hermitage by myself. I look out the window, and in the middle of one of these decades, I see this image of this beautiful woman in blue, just ever so slightly, and then it's gone. And I just thought, thank you. You know, Jesus just gave me this just brief little window into his mother, that, and that's what I needed. And it didn't change things very quickly. It's not like uh, I went home and I became a daily rosary prayer. That didn't happen. <laughs> but what did happen is uh, a longing for Mary. And eventually I did, I went through, uh, just uh, last year, I went through 33 days to morning glory, which was amazing, uh, a great encounter with our mother. So I just have this new relationship with Mary that leads me to Christ. And that's just, I think, I think it all started from that, that weekend at Pacham. That's awesome. Yeah, 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 it was really cool. Our family is doing the 33 days to morning glory right now. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that is very exciting. I can't wait to see the fruit that comes out of that. Yeah, do you finish at a certain time, yeah. a certain feast day? Yeah, we finish on the Feast of the Assumption. Oh, good. Yeah. It's coming so, soon. Very soon. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's awesome. So um, you, you kind of explained what the treat, retreats are like, and they're, they're any length that you want them to be. Mm -hmm. um, and how do I learn more? Like, how do I find out more about it, or how do I sign up? So uh, their website uh, gives a pretty good overview of what to expect on a weekend. Um, there is no, uh, no uh, predefined fee. It's a free will donation. They have a suggested cost. It, it takes about 135 or $140 a night to keep that place alive. Okay. And so uh, that's kind of a guideline for people. But any donation is accepted. We don't want to turn away anyone that's hungry for solitude. Uh, so you can learn a little bit on their website. You can also call Pacham and Terrace and talk to their uh, staff. They have a wonderful executive director, wonderful staff. They're all about hospitality. So they would give people just all the time in the world. And when you say yes to Pacham and you schedule your weekend or your, or your, um, your retreat, it can be day during the week or on weekends, uh, they will sit down and do an orientation with you, kind of like some spiritual guidance for your weekend. Yeah. And then off you go to your hermitage and you enjoy your stay. They have a main building that has uh, restroom, showers, uh, a fitness room actually, uh, because I think it's all about the whole person. So they really encourage people to take care of self. They have a beautiful library with um, thousands and thousands of donated books, a small chapel with the Blessed Sacrament. So uh, you can go to that main building anytime during your stay okay. and, uh, and kind of find the, the typical uh, things of this world, the showers, the electricity, whatever. Um, so you're well cared for. And, and if they did have needs out there, um, they, have, uh, they have people on staff 24 seven that can help. Uh, in terms of food, they give you a food basket of fruit, bread, cheese, homemade bread, homemade muffins. Mm -hmm. And uh, for most people, that sustains them for their stay. Wow. And if you need more, they give you more. Okay. Some people bring their own, you know, maybe beef jerky or whatever it is that they might be wanting in addition. Okay. And um, one final question. Do they have um, like religious services like a mass or Christian services on the weekends? No. Okay. No, they don't. So uh, on occasion, if there's a priest staying there, uh, they might announce to people that if you're interested in Catholic Mass, that would be one on Saturday night or Sunday. But otherwise, um, hermits will go to a parish nearby. Okay. So if people wanted to support the mission of Pachman Terrace, how would they do that? Uh, great question. Um, Pachman Terrace needs support. You know, not, not everybody that stays at Pacham is able to give the necessary amount. So um, you can support them financially uh, with a donation online. You can call them and you could have things set up uh, for monthly uh, withdrawals. 
Um, you can also volunteer. They, twice a year they have days where they need some cleanup done on 280 acres. It takes a lot to take care of. So there's plenty of ways to do it and all that information is available online or by calling Pacham. Wonderful. And, and what's their website? Uh, it's pachaminterrace.org. Awesome. So P-A-C-E-M-I-N-T-E-R-R-I-S. Peace on Earth, Latin for peace on Earth. That's beautiful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the information. It sounds really interesting and I should go sometime. So if you want to check it out, we'll put the link to their website in the description and you can uh, learn more there. And I hope you enjoyed learning about Pachman Terrace and you want to check it out as well. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.